Hi, welcome back. Thanks for watching today's leather bag haul video. I have a few items from Wells Mountain Co. and Urban Southern. They are both a store in Pennsylvania and I have been to their store multiple times now. So I thought it's time to show you things that I pick up from them. Let's start with a small item. This is a pouch. Not sure how this color turned out on the screen. In certain lighting, it kind of looks kind of brown. And then sometimes it looks kind of like dark olive color. I really like this color, so I have bought a few items in this color. So here is the close-up of this pouch. You can see the texture of the leather. And it does have the Urban Southerns logo right here. On both sides actually. It's pretty straightforward, it's nothing inside other than my receipt that I spent too much money. <laughs> so this is a good size pouch. You can use it as a clutch. It's a good size to store your phone, your credit cards, your card holder, and some cash. So the second item I want to show you is this. Can you guess what this is? I'm not sure you can call this a bag or not, but I think they call this their Bible cover. Personally, I'm not religious, but for other people, whatever works and make them happy, that's fine. And this is the inside of it. I guess you can slip your journal on the side and use it as a journal cover as well. And then you can carry your pencil pouches and stationeries inside this. It opens all the way. So when you look at the side, the width is about an inch and a half or two inches. So you can put quite a lot of stuff inside this cover. While buying this, I was thinking maybe I can convert it into a crossbody bag. I have seen many companies that are just releasing small bags and then they just have the crossbody strap hook on these D-rings. I just pick out a random strap. Let's see if it would work. <laughs> Clip on. So I think it would work. What do you think? I thought I would convert it as a crossbody bag, clip on the crossbody strap because this is kind of like a small size bag. So I don't think the weight would destroy this D-ring. If I use this as a crossbody bag, I can just open here and take whatever I want and then zip it back up. <laughs> what do you think? Maybe this is a stupid idea, but I like it. Sometimes we have to be creative, right? <laughs> And the next item I want to show you is this leather belt. This looks like undyed vegetable tan leather. I didn't ask what kind of leather is this, but it does look very familiar. It kind of looks like my vegetable tan leather bag. So I bought this in store. I don't think they are selling this specific one on their website. At the store, they have all this belt hanging on the wall, so you can pick up what you want and then have them cut to the right size. Since I'm wearing a pair of jeans today, I thought maybe I could show you how it looks i think the brown tone is a nice contrast with blue jeans so this is how it looks it fits really well and he did punch extra holes so if I put on weight or if I'm going to lose some weight, I can still continue to use this belt. Next, I want to show you the first bag I picked up from them. This is their courier bag under Wells Mountain Co. I picked up this bag on my first visit to their store. I like the design of this bag. It kind of reminded me the bag that postmen use. This bag comes with a really thick chunky strap. Probably the same width like my belt. It's adjustable but it's not removable. I noticed many of their bags come with a non-removable back strap. I hope in the future, they will consider changing their design a little bit on the strap so that the customers can easily switch straps. I would say this is kind of like an envelope style bag. It doesn't have width on the side, so I probably wouldn't recommend if you want to carry big stuff. On the back, it does have a zip pocket 
general size zip pocket on the back definitely big enough to store your phone inside here and then this bag feature a magnetic closure it's really easy nothing fussy at all let's look inside the bag it's not too much inside the bag it's a big space and a slip pocket not a very big pocket I think this is for you to put your phone since I'm a photographer I always look for bags that can carry my camera as well so even though this is a skinny bag I was thinking let me try it out if I put in this Olympus camera so I guess if you want to put bigger stuff you can fit it in as well it just may not have the shape you like I have my Kindle scrap here fit really well so I believe this is a crossbody bag and this is how it looks on my body I'm 5'9 it's a good size bag for running errands and it's very comfortable with this wider strap so your shoulder won't get tired from it next I have this bag to show you this is their sling bag on the tag it says this is their prototype it's their sling bag prototype because it's a prototype so it has a special sales price I thought I would pick it up and try and I kind of like this like I mentioned before I really like this kind of leather so when I see this I decided I have to pick this up also so this is kind of like the size of a camera bag you have this zip closure pretty smooth nothing inside just a big space this is a good size bag let's test out with the camera again so definitely big enough to carry a lot of stuff so the strap is adjustable depending on how you want to wear this bag you can wear it lower or higher I thought something is very smart about this design is the connection here is rotating you can see that it can rotate here so when you carry this bag regardless what position you want it's adjustable because normal sling bag would be like sideways like this but since this is rotatable when you carry it sideways the bag is still facing up you can easily open and reach in for your stuff and it's less likely for your stuff to falling off the bag and I definitely saved my favorite for last this is a modified marker tote that I bought from them you can find this bag on Urban Sultan's website in other color for the regular version you would have two straps here like a long shoulder strap to carry on your shoulder but since I'm not too much of a shoulder bag person so I asked them to modify it into a crossbody bag and because of using this softer pepper ladder so they double up the ladder here so it's a double layer it give you a little bit more structure for the handle and also the original marker tote doesn't have any back closure because this is a big bag I really want it to have some kind of closure so that I can feel secure with my stuff inside and personally I prefer the Wells Mountain Co logo so instead of having the Urban Southern logo I have them stamp on the Wells Mountain Co logo and they are very smart in placing the magnetic closure it's behind this logo so it's not so obvious that you would see something here like some other magnetic closure bag they have the logo on both sides open and close pretty easily so that when I carry this bag the bag wouldn't just flop open <laughs> one thing I learned that with leather bag it's not so easy to modify especially if you, they use a die cut to cut the leather like they have a certain template so with this bag the way they cut this leather this reverse hose would be there already so even though I modify the bag and I don't use the shoulder strap the hole would still be here so he added this reverse so it's kind of more like a decorative reverse rather than a functional one they only use one side of the reverse for the crossbody strap and this is the adjustable removable crossbody strap I asked them to make you can remove it and just hand carry this tote if that's what you like or you can put this on and then adjust the strap 
to the length you like so that you can carry it as crossbody bag. So this is how it looks if I carry it as a crossbody bag. It's a very big bag. So if you are shorter or if you have smaller body frame, you may want to buy their mini marker tote. That one is the same design but smaller size. Also, just a reminder, their regular marker totes on their website, they don't have this crossbody strap. They only come with a shoulder strap. So with this adjustable crossbody strap, I'm able to adjust it and use this as a shoulder strap if I end up prefer it this way. So this would be more similar to their original style if you want to use them as a shoulder bag. I like that when you're not using the crossbody strap, you can bend down the D-rings and they're kind of hidden inside, not very obvious. Since the handle here basically has four layers of leather, so it definitely looks more structured than their regular market tote. It's very comfortable. This is a soft leather, so the handle is very comfortable to hold. For their regular version, it's kind of more structured leather, but I imagine this kind of leather will soften very fast once you start using them. So before I end this video, I also want to ask that if you like what I share, please consider to subscribe to my channel because I noticed most of my viewers are not subscribing to my channel. There must be something wrong I did with this channel, right? I need to rethink about that. So if you would consider subscribing to my channel, I really appreciate that. And even you just watch my video, that's fine as well. Anyway, I'm very happy to share my purchase from Wells Mountain Co. and Urban Southern. And I appreciate you watching this video. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye!